Good for you. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, so. You, you know, we were talking offline about you being a father. Love it. Best thing that's ever happened to me. You started late, bro. I started late, but I started right on time. You know what I mean? Nothing against, shout out all my boys and all the brothers out there that were having four kids by 30. I don't know how they did it. Because I know uh, how much it takes out of me now. I'm just going to speak on behalf of me, Alex Thomas. Brother, if I had kids in my 20s and 30s, like a lot of my boys did, I would have been a horrible father. I would have been a horrible daddy. Because I would have been trying to change diapers, but still uh, stripping uh, and, and, and paying strippers money in the strip clubs. And still... Uh, doing homework before I go hang out with some porn stars. Like, no, it wouldn't have worked. I had, I had to be done with that life. I lived that crazy Hollywood being on TV movies and all the wild shit, less the drugs and the other shit, crazy shit. I just had a good time. But a lot of different females. <laughs> Thank God. I don't have any kids that I know of. So with that being said, <laughs> No, but I have three amazing children, seven, five, two years old, a beautiful black wife that has my back and is the greatest thing that ever happened to me, man. And I needed that in my life to slow me the fuck down. And it did for the good. You know what I mean? So no, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And you I have kids? Say, yes. I, I, but my kids are older now. Oh, and okay. that's, that's, the whole, that's why I said I was even telling you offline. If I had it to do all over again, I would have did it just like you. Now, th the good thing is, you know, you have them young and your kids are older. Yeah. You're hanging out and still doing things with them. Yeah. With, yeah. So so that's a beautiful thing. But the, but the flip, the, you know, but when you're young and especially somebody like yourself, somebody like myself, who were just laser focused with career. Exactly. You, you You're chasing something else. And all those kids want is time. All they need is time. Absolutely. So that's a beautiful thing about my wife. Um, she helps that balance. Mm -hmm. She makes sure I, she taught me that word balance. I didn't know a goddamn thing about that. Being a single dude that was out in the streets for a whole lot of years. <laughs> you know what I mean? I admit I had to learn that part, you know, but when you see the fruits of your labor and you see how the kids are turning out and they're doing great, Man, it makes you go, man, this is what it's all about. No, nah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. God bless you. God bless you. So let me you. ask you a question. What are the ages of your kids? 24, no, 25, 25 and 26. Okay. So a few things just want to throw out at you. Okay. Uh, first of all, I had no clue it was this expensive to be a father. And I'm guessing it's a whole lot more expensive now than it was 24 and 25 years ago. Correct. In fact, I'm going to put you to the test and I'm going to ask you a question. Do you remember buying your face ba first baby stroller for that 25 year old when he was, a, was it a girl or boy? Boy. When I, I do, I do remember it. How much just off the top of your head, how much you think a baby stroller was 25 years ago? I'm going to take a random guess. Just a random guess. 250, 300, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So, me and my wife just went baby stroller shopping last week. Get a new baby stroller. It's this place, all the women I know this, is called Bye Bye Baby. Okay? Yep, yep. Sean, first of all, I didn't know there was this many different name brand stroller companies. It looked like a used car lot when we walked into this place. <laughs> Dude walked up to me like, welcome to Bye Bye Baby. Can we help you? I was like, yeah, man, we're looking for a stroller. My wife saw this real nice one right next to me. She's like, oh my God, I love this one. I, I was like, my man, yo, we're we, we going to get this one. He was like, that's a great choice. That there is the 2023 Bugaboo. Heated seats, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, just 1900 Excuse me? I, I said, excuse, excuse, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking about like the real cars. I'm talking about, the, I said, the baby, the baby chair right here. This, this is what I want, the one with little four wheels. He's like, oh, that's 1900. I was like, 1900? Yo, oh, Alex. Babies, wait, let me finish. Let, let me finish. I said, 1900 for the baby stroller? He was like, well, you know, what you picked was the Mercedes-Benz Ferrari strollers. 
I was like, okay, well, show us to the 82 Cutlass area, okay? Bring me to the 94 Altima section, okay? Do you guys have Hyundais in this motherfucker? It's what I'm trying to find out. 1900? I'm like, the nigga was born last Thursday. 1900? Heated seats, nigga? We have blankets. 1900? Yeah, man. Times have changed 25 years ago, brother. Good Lord. I, I, I'm thinking this is a joke. Uh, I, I, what did I, I tell you? I'm telling you my that. life. What'd you say? I just can't believe that there is a stroller on the market that's $1,900. And how I, about, how about... That thing better drive itself. Nigga, and how about... My Tesla, get, but go ahead. Pretty much, it's the Tesla. It's the Tesla. And how about, we had to end up getting another one because now we have a, another baby. We had a pandemic baby also, by the way. My yeah, son. Two-year-old. Two-year-old, man. He was born August 3rd, 2020. He was a straight pandemic baby. Like, the nigga was born with a mask on. Like, for real, for real, right? <laughs> uh, his stroller was 2300 Hold on. You, 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 y'all. So you actually went through and bought these strollers. Do you think, do you, do you think I, I'm just I, telling I you, you, you think I'm making like, shit up? No, I thought that that's what it would, would. Okay. We got the Mercedes, first, but we first decided. Of all, it's so oh, fly. It's so no, no, fucking no. fly that you could sit it and I could push you in the mall right now. nigga. I could push your 49, however, 48 year old ass in this goddamn stroller and you would be having a ball. Like I'm talking suspension. It pushes easy. I could push it with one finger, nigga. And that bitch turns with look, like, it's crazy. Leather handles. It, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, at all. Is, there, is there a resale market for, for, for stroller? Because this back in the days, you used to hand the stroller down to your cousin who just had a kid or what like nigga, we will be putting this stroller back on the market. Like absolutely. It, no but here's the crazy part. We live in an area called Studio City. It's a lot of white people. It's a very nice area. You go to malls around here and you see them all over the place. Like it's it's so like the no status way. quo now. It's crazy. People, so when I pull up in the mall like and I'm a Range Rover out there, it's like having a Range Rover. Pretty out much. There. And I'm not exaggerating. Pretty much. Oh, I can keep going. My wife had me buy her a $750 breast pump. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. You said your kids are 24, 25. So you would know nothing about this. There's this new breast pump. It costs $750 and it's Wi-Fi and it latches onto my wife's breast. I'm not making any of this shit up. And it sucks the milk out of her breast and automatically pumps it into little four ounce bottles for the baby, hands free. Like we could be walking around at a bar right now and you don't know under her shirt, they're pumping. I'm not making this up. It's on Amazon. What so, what's the Wi-Fi for? Uh, because it can, you can connect it to your phone. It's automatic, like so. Her, I know it sounds like I'm joking, right? Sound like I'm making this shit up. It, I, I'm not a scientist, nigga. I'm just telling you what the fuck is in my house right now. We could be at a concert right now. She could be like, "Oh, the single ladies, oh, the single," and nigga, she's on the Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and the motherfuckers pumping her titties get with her with her milk, right? So the first thing went to my mind, I told my wife, wait a second, $750. I was like, my question is, as a man, um, does this device, does it homogenize the milk? Coming exactly. out of this? Nigga, does it turn your titty milk into chocolate milk? I'm just wondering, does it turn into soy? Gluten-free soy milk? Like, what the fuck? Is this some whole, field, whole foods milk coming out your titties? I told her, because baby, I can suck the milk out your titties for free. I'm really good at it. I'm really. <laughs> There's two cups. Like, I can do this shit myself, bro. I can't make this shit up, Sean. I can't make this shit up. Oh, my goodness. You're hilarious. Wait, let me ask okay. you one last question. Let me ask you one last question. 24 to 25 year old. Did you ever take your kids to Disneyland back in the day, 24, 25 years ago? No, uh-uh. You were just like all these other niggas, man. <laughs> I found out there's so many black folks that are like, oh, no, we never went. I mean, because obviously you know that it's always been a super expensive place. 
Yes. And you know their slogan, right? Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. Yes. It's now the most expensive place on earth. The reason I asked you, because I was hoping that you would have remembered how much you paid 24, 25 years ago. No clue? Yo, no, I have no idea. I have no idea what Disney cost 25 years ago. You, do you have any idea how much it costs now? No, not at all. Why? 30,000 30, 30, per child. 30,000. 30,000 what? Uh, dollars. We had to make a decision. It was either college or Mickey Mouse. Hold on. It, because, <laughs> I'm oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> but it's so expensive, brother. It felt like it was 30,000. It's like 450, something like that per kid now. I'm not oh, even. Like, is that a day pass? Uh, with a day pass. And yeah, we did get the day pass. And then how about this, though? Let me, let me, because because I, I don't know. When I said day pass, I'm thinking, is that like to get in? No, the you, day pass is it's $450 so you don't have to stand in like an hour line. You know what I mean? Look, look it, it, the bottom line is it's expensive as fuck. And how about, Sean, they don't let you bring any food down? Because this was two months ago we took our daughter. They don't let you bring any food. You can't bring a cookie. You can't slide an apple in that bitch. You can't bring a pack of Skittles in that motherfucker. And, and why is that, Sean? Because they're getting you at the concession. They want you to buy the Disneyland food where the fries are $97. Popcorn, $132.50. Now, I know somebody who went there. They was like, uh, uh, like, like water with something like $7.50. Oh, yeah. I bought five nieces and nephews and my kids. Do the math, brother. I spent a half a million dollars on lunch. <laughs> Crazy. So, yeah. that Now, you ask me, why am I a parent? I started late. Because that really wouldn't have been going down in my 20s, no, 30s. I, I, I can tell you, it wouldn't have been. No. That I, money would have been spent in Magic City. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.